Lights on here for race two of the Winter Championship for Mark Renault and a good start from the front row of the grid for the pole position man but look at Matt Mason coming through somebody stalled at the back of the field Matt Mason through though into lead position I think it was Malia that stalled at the back looked like it was the four car Mason very very wide at Paddock there's such a little amount of grip you can see Brabham getting very sideways through the middle of Paddock Hill Ben losing a bit of momentum but outside goes Mason did he just block up a little bit did, Morris yeah. is up into second aching down to third and that's going to be uh, interesting to see what Morris can do now. Will he be able to get after Mason and close him down as I think Brabham gets a place back as the 50 car goes round and round. Anton Spires, who's been quick earlier in the year. And oh, Brabham uh, is off as well as his car. Cal wide, ACA. Wide, yeah. So Matthew Brabham, well, actually on the top of the circuit here is Brabham Straight. So yeah. we've seen Josh Hill race around Graham Hill and Brabham around Brabham Straight. Now let's see what we've got here. So coming down, yeah. Yeah, just a bit of contact. I think both of them got sideways it out of the corner. He wasn't told to go for a Chinese or anything like that. <laughs> no, he wasn't, no. And they just tangled. And unfortunately, both of them spun. And that's going to really hurt their chances. Look at Morris. He's closed down Mason. He knows how to drive well in the wet, does said Morris. And Mason, as you quite rightly said, has been very strong in the interstep series. But Morris has been racing these cars all season. So... Of the two of them, you think Morris is going to be the one who feels most comfortable in this situation. Car number 12, Jack Aitken, the pole position sitter in the mix there. Number two, it's Chris Middlehurst, started in fifth place on the grid, so he's the white fluorescent and is the race leader then. So Matt Mason still out front at the moment, he's going to try and put right his uh, result from yesterday, finished in sixth position after going off. A fastest lap from Middlehurst, the second place driver, just set the fastest lap of the race, a 143.947, two seconds behind, but he's certainly on a mission, is Middlehurst at the moment, and I was always tempted to say Andy Middlehurst in the car, being of a certain age. Yeah, exactly, look at the understeer there that you saw from Chris Middlehurst as he turned in there, I met Chris and his dad Andy actually last week at the uh, Nissan GTR Owners Club awards ceremony that I was there doing a bit of talking about. And uh, because, of course, Andy is, the, is legendary for being a Skyline importer and NGTR distributor, 33 car. Sean Walkinshaw. Oh, Sean Walkinshaw, he's been a busy boy this year. He's raced in this. Um, he did some intersteps racing. And uh, what else has he been in? Was Formula 4, did he drive as well? I'm trying yeah, to think. Possibly. He's in all kinds of different things. Oh, uh, was it um, F3? Oh, Sideways moment there from Middlehurst coming out of Druids. And he really is working hard. Whether he's going to get uh, a fast sector in this one again. Sector one on the last lap, 143.354 for him. Trying to close down on Matt Mason out front at the moment. So Mason, the 20-year-old, Chris Middlehurst, just 17, based up at St. Helens in Lancashire. Did a bit of regional Formula Ford racing before he came in here. 2011 Formula Ford National Champion for 1600. Won the Northwestern Championship in 11 and Championship of Alton Park in 2010. And he's starting to close in. Look at the gap. What a great shot that is here. Coming down Pilgrim's drop and heading towards Hawthorne Bend. As they cross the line this time, another fastest lap uh, for Chris Middlehurst. 143, 136. He's taken another three tenths out of the race leader. Now, how many laps? We've got five laps remaining here at Brands Hatch. If he's taking three tenths of a second lap, uh, a lap, he's going to be close enough to potentially have a look at having a go for this win is Chris Middlehurst. It seems to me that Matt, uh, Chris Middlehurst is the Matt Mason on this lap. It looks like even though uh, Mason's set his personal fastest sector, I think Middlehurst is quicker still because he's currently had been the fastest through there. It's now Jack Aiken fastest through sector two. But this is going to be close. 1.365, the gap last time they crossed the line. Let's see what it is as the timing screen updates. Now just 0.8 of a second. Taking another half a second. Another new fastest lap for Middlehurst. 142.87 is the only driver in the 142s. Yeah, this is great stuff between these two, and particularly Chris Middlehurst. He's trying to just chip that lead down. Matt Mason out front, where he was yesterday. Pole position in yesterday's race. Jack A, can I remind you, pole position today. Middlehurst, though, you can see fighting the car. Really, these conditions giving you a very good idea of the car control needed and being executed on these cars. I think it's going to be Chris Middlehurst who's going to lead the championship after two rounds. I don't know whether it was maybe a bit of everything going on there, that Mason was just chilling for a little bit, cruising. Meanwhile, Middlehurst was pushing like mad, and maybe it's gone the other way around now. And Mason's pushed like crazy, and Middlehurst has, has just kind of eased off a little bit. But at times, are still not bad. He set Middlehurst to set his personal fastest lap just a couple of laps ago. Now, of course, the cameras really give us a, a pretty good view of what's going on. But driver-wise, 
very difficult out there. They've got loads of spray to deal with. Visibility not ideal, as well as tricky conditions. Yeah, and Spacey comes up to lap Anton Spires, who we saw off, uh, uh, off early on in the race, had that big spin. And the best thing from Mason's point of view is obviously being in front. You don't have to worry about that spray, do you? You're just driving your own laps. He's going to get a little bit now from the back marker. But has been absolutely imperious. Very, very impressed the way that he managed to up the pace in the latter part of the race after being under a lot of pressure from Middlehurst. Great drive from Chris Middlehurst as well from fifth on the grid up to second. And from Mason from second, of course, up to first. Matt Mason up across the line to win round two of the Pro Tire Formula Renault BARC Winter Series with Michelin. He is delighted with it. And not only now is he a winning driver in intersteps with MGR, but he's a winner in Formula Renault too. He will be delighted. Chris Middlehurst gave us a good race. The 17-year-old coming home in second from Jack Aiken in third. I haven't seen a lot of Jack. And that is Ivan Taranov, who was up in the top 10. He goes off on the last lap. He's going to be very disappointed about it. That's going to promote Ryan Cullen back into the top 10. But here is Seb Morris, who has had an on and off race for sure. He's going to take the chequered flag now and goes, in fact, in fourth position. So... Another of the core motorsport cars is off as well. We see Taranov off, and it looks like Epps has lost out in the equation as well. Similar livery to Taranov. Here comes Brian Cullen, though, coming through. George Gamble finishes seventh. Good finish for the youngster in his first beating. Eighth position across the line is Ryan Cullen. So a good result for him. There is car number five, Matt Ray. Ollie Ray, big part the Australian in the Cliff Dempsey racing machine. He's going to come home. Very tricky conditions, a lot of drivers caught out. Winter Championship, Simon, very much about gaining some experience for next year, though. Quite, and that's uh, where you're going to see some drivers like the ones we've already mentioned, like Middlehurst and Morris, uh, that are coming back into the series after doing the main series. Of course, only a week or two weeks, rather, between that. But uh, this time, of course, it's about those guys trying to build on what they've already learned, some of the new guys building what they're going to do. I think it's still going to be a very strong championship for 2013. We've got a couple of interesting changes to the world of single seaters in the UK with the new Formula 4 Championship, as you quite rightly said earlier, going to be very interesting. And the new Formula 4 series, not to be confused. Absolutely. Um, and then, of course, Formula Renault's been around for such a long time. It's a great learning thing. This is the, uh... So here's the result then of round two of the Pro Tire Formula Renault Winter Championship. Matt Mason taking the win from Chris Middlehurst. Jack Aiken in third from Seb Morris, then Matt Brabham, as we heard in fifth place, Cameron Twynham sixth from George Gamble, Ryan Cullen eighth from Chow Hong Wai in ninth, Ollie Ray completing the top ten. So single-seater action complete. Join us after this break for reaction. Brilliant weekend for us, obviously, you know, in Cliff Demps Racing in Middle Earth Motorsport, got two really good results uh, in the championship, you know, it's just, I think this championship really is about, you know, obviously being consistent, um, and that's what I aim to do, obviously, you know, in this uh, meeting, and also in Rockingham, um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Very wet conditions today, how did you handle that? Yeah, it was really treacherous, it was really hard, uh, off the line, it was very greasy, and uh, obviously we all got a lot of wheel spin, and uh, I... I, get, I got an OK start, but I maybe could have got a little better. Um, in the middle, the middle of the race, I was catching Matt. Um, I had some really good pace. Um, and as well as the end, I just dropped back a little bit and sort of cruised. Obviously, you know, um, second was a good result for us, so I just kept it there and sort of brought it home for us. 